After viewing this video, you'll be able to explain the sequence of indicators that appear on the E-Series instrument panel to prompt the various types of regeneration and explain the sequence of steps to take for each type of regeneration. For the E-Series, when the emission system is in need of an automatic regeneration, the clogged DPF lamp will flash. At this point, an automatic regeneration is required. Once the automatic regeneration begins, the clogged DPF lamp will turn solid. This indicates regeneration is in process. When the clogged DPF lamp turns off, automatic regeneration is complete. The operator can now resume their normal tractor operation. If the flashing clogged DPF lamp is ignored for a period of time and an automatic regeneration is not performed, the DPF will fill closer to capacity. As a result, the operator will be asked to perform a parked regeneration in order to reduce the high volume of particulate matter collected. The operator will know this is happening when the parked regeneration lamp begins to flash in addition to the clogged DPF lamp. The operator must then stop the tractor, slow the engine speed to low idle, shift the transmission and PTO levers to neutral, and engage the parking brake. When parked, the operator should press and hold for three seconds the parked regeneration button located on the front console. The parked regeneration lamp on the display will turn solid, and the engine will rev up to a speed required for regeneration. Once the exhaust temperature is hot enough for regeneration, the clogged DPF lamp will turn solid. The tractor should remain in park and the operator should avoid interrupting the regeneration until regeneration is complete. This will take approximately 30 minutes. Once regeneration is complete, the lamps will turn off and the engine speed will decrease. Normal operation can now resume. If the first set of parked regeneration indicators are ignored and the DPF reaches full capacity, the engine will automatically derate to 1500 RPM and an audible beep will sound, alerting the operator that a parked regeneration is now mandatory. The operator must stop the tractor, slow the engine speed to low idle, shift all transmission and PTO levers to neutral, and engage the parking brake. When parked, the operator should press and hold for three seconds the parked regeneration button located on the front console. The parked regeneration lamp on the display will turn solid, and the engine will rev up to a speed required for regeneration. Once the exhaust temperature is hot enough for regeneration, the clogged DPF lamp will turn solid. The tractor should remain in park and the operator should avoid interrupting the regeneration until regeneration is complete. This will take approximately 30 minutes. Once regeneration is complete, the lamps will turn off and the engine speed will decrease. Normal operation can now resume. If the tractor is continuously operated at the derated engine speed, a DPF overload will occur. The check engine lamp will come on and another audible alarm will sound. When this happens, the dealer will have to be called. A regeneration is not advised in certain environments, such as a stall barn or orchard setting where dry hay or low-hanging leaves may be in the presence of hot exhaust gas. Please refer to your operator's manual for more information. In these situations, regeneration can be postponed by pressing and holding for three seconds the Regeneration Inhibit button, located on the front console. Pressing the Regeneration Inhibit button will silence the indicators and allow the operator to finish their work. Once the work is completed, the tractor should then be moved to an open environment for an automatic or parked regeneration. The regeneration inhibit button should be turned off by pressing and holding for three seconds. This button is only to be used in special conditions. 
excessive use of the regeneration inhibit button will result in more downtime for the operator.